In this tutorial, we'll get an introduction to HTML tables. This tables lesson comes from a course that I've recently released called Pure HTML and CSS from Scratch, which will go alongside as a prerequisite for the HTML email mastery course. I'll include links to both courses in the video description for you to check out if you haven't already. So without further ado, here is the HTML tables lesson from the new course and stay tuned for new HTML email template tutorials as I have a new one coming out in the next week or two. In this lesson, we'll cover HTML HTML tables. So the table tag is what defines an HTML table as it says up here in the finished version of this lesson. So I'm going to add this inside of some paragraph text here. Then inside of our table, each table row is defined with the TR tag for table row. Then the table header is defined by the TH tag. So the table header here is going to be the bold text at the top of the table. So we'll have the th tag inside of the table row tr tag. Then the table cells which don't have the bold text will be table data tags, so td tags. So to remember it, once I paste it in here, I'm going to add after td that it stands for table data. So when the internet was first coming out and websites were becoming popular, it wasn't uncommon for websites to be displayed by using tables. But now tables are only really used for really specific elements on websites, though tables are still used primarily for HTML emails. So those of you who have also taken my HTML email course know that we build our email templates using tables. Okay, so let's start laying out our table with, as you may have guessed, the table tag, which will span the entire element. So I'm going to write table here. Then inside of our table, we'll have our first table row using the tr tag. So our first table row will be all table header th tags, representing the bold text at the top with person, city, and business. So I'll add the table header tag. And then inside of it, I'll add the person text, which will display in bold for us. Then the next table header will include the city text. And the last one will be the business text. So now if we take a look in Chrome at what we're working with, we see that we have our three headings with the table headers displaying, but the styling doesn't look like the finished version with the borders and the full width. So what we'll do is we're going to add a little bit of CSS styling to make our table look a little prettier. So let's add the style attribute for our CSS, and then we're going to give it a width as our property of 100% as the value. So now once we save it, you'll see that our headings are displaying at the full width of our page with the width of the table at 100%. They're spaced out. And what we can also do is add text align center, which is going to center all of our text inside of the table heading tags and the table data tags. Then I'm going to use the border attribute to add a border to the table of one pixel with border one. Okay, so now let's add our second table row, which will contain our table data tags with our first set of people, cities, and businesses. So we'll drop down underneath the table row that we already have. And then inside of that, we'll add the TD tags. So I'll add TR and then hit enter and then TD and we'll add bill. Then the next TD will be Seattle. So just like we added with the table headers, it's going to go across in the row instead of up and down, which is how you may think it's listed before you actually do the HTML. So let's add Seattle next. And Bill's business in Seattle in the next TD is the coffee shop. Okay, so now that we have our table heading and table data tag set up for the first two rows, let's speed it up a little bit by using our text editor skills for the next table row and three table data tags. So we'll add tr right angle bracket td times three. Then hit enter and we'll add Jill, London, and Hair Salon for the business. 
Then for the last table row, now that we have the first three set up, let's use our text editor skills again with tr right angle bracket td times three, and we'll add Phil's lounge, which is in Sydney. So Phil, Sydney, and lounge. So with that, that concludes our HTML table. This will be the only table that we cover in the course, but if you want to learn more about email template development, be sure to check out my HTML email course where we build a complete template with tables.